How's it going? Hey, dude. Hey, I'm interested in your. Uh, I'm interested in your uh, your take here. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've just been watching uh, a bunch of videos all morning of um, you know the anti-Trump demonstrations. I think they're in California somewhere. Man, it's a lot of people getting beaten up for wearing Trump T-shirts and stuff like that. It's kind of mad. That's true. I also did see the rallies in Mexico. Did you see those? The rallies on what? The rallies in New Mexico. No, I didn't. Is that uh, they were Trump pro-Trump or anti-Trump? No, they were anti-Trump and they were very violent as well. So I can see where you're getting that argument from. Yeah. So we agree. There's no argument. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'll. I'll raise an argument here. Go on. Have you watched videos of a proper Trump rally and how the fans react to people who do not necessarily agree with Trump? For um, instance, I've seen a couple of things where I, I saw the old man punch the guy as he was leaving or something like that. I remember that. And I know Trump said something about... Um, he said something about he'll pay for med- for the in- for like lawsuits or something like that. So I know there's a little bit of that, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I guess it's the same, except one's in public and one's not. But fair enough. Although yeah, so I mean, it's kind of hard for me to judge the ones that aren't in public versus the ones that are, because all I see at Trump rallies are is Trump actually encouraging violence. Mm. And so his, you know, his followers are just, they're fiery. So what you're saying is, what you're saying is Trump followers need to be encouraged to be violent, whereas anti-Trump people don't need to be encouraged. (laughs) They're just naturally violent. Is that what you mean? (laughs) It's an odd position to take, Mr. Mr. Duke on Wild. I've watched a few rallies. Yeah, where it just seems like he's firing them up to get violent against anybody. Yeah. So I don't know—is he I, firing them up to get violent or just to like not? I feel like he—I don't know. Maybe I'm just—I mean, everyone puts their own like internal spin on stuff they see, right? But my what I hear from him is like a lot of like people are gonna accuse us of all sorts of crap, and I don't give it like. Honestly, like, just let it slide off your back. That's what I, like, people are going to call you all sorts of names and you just ignore them. And just, I, I feel like, I don't know, I, I know that everybody thinks he's, like, racist and stuff like that. I don't see it. I really don't. You know. Fair enough. I don't see it at all. Like, I, I, I think, um, I feel like they're just trying to bury him with, um, with insults and and the more they do that, the more it appeals to people who are kind of sick of that stuff. Right, right, right. Yeah. So you think, so you think it's all an act, though? For the most all part. an act? Yeah. What, Trump? Trump, well, the way that he presents himself, the way that he sort of gets his views across. I, I uh, think he genuinely doesn't give a crap. I think he really doesn't give a crap. Um, he has no respect for people who, I, I mean... He actually, I don't think, here's the funny thing, like, I think most people, me included, when you say something, you think, like, what is the other person going to think about what I'm saying right now? Like, that crosses your mind, at least. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And, and I think with Trump, it doesn't at all. Like, or if it does, it's just like, I don't give a shit. I think he just doesn't have, like, right. an intern, internal model of what people think about, which, which... You know, you could argue he's bad if he has the nuclear codes, but <laughs> but it's kind of cool, kind of cool to see it because I don't. On the one hand, you know, there is like something to be said for someone who considers someone else's feelings, but on the other hand, it's like just so much of like tiptoeing around and not saying what you really mean. I'd rather you were honest about what you think and you said something terrible rather than you lie. Although, here's one point I'll bring up, and I'm sure you've heard this before. Most yeah. of what comes out of his mouth, I feel, um, he does it to deflect the fact that he's not very political at all, right? He doesn't understand mm. topics, which in itself is smart, but violence is a, well, violence, 
violence, racism, whatever you think comes out of his mouth, I don't do that. But I do think that he brings up those controversial topics to deflect the attention away from himself because he can't, you know, he can't delve into you know, foreign policy, uh, the economy. I agree, especially. So, you know, in a way, it's kind of. Kind of intelligent. <laughs> Did, yeah, it is very intelligent. Did you uh, have you ever read Oren Klaff's book or uh, listened to it or anything like that? Do you know who he is? Oren who? I didn't hear. Oren Klaff. He's like yeah. he talks about um, he talks about um, like presents like doing powerpoints and pre- presenting to people to raise money and stuff like that. Right. You ever read him? No, no, no. No. Oh well, he, his whole thing is that you know you shouldn't. Just present the facts and let someone else analyze it and let them ask you questions that sort of, you know, pick you apart, essentially. So they, you shouldn't just say like, hey, you know, we think this and leave it at that. Right. Um, Cause they're just gonna go, well, how do you know this? Uh, have you ever done this before? Blah, 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 blah. Instead, his whole thing is like, he wants to create what he called a hot cognition, which is just get people getting excited. Like, it doesn't matter if they're angry. It doesn't matter if they're, like, sad or whatever. But it should be an emotional response and not, like, a, not an analytical response. Right, right. And if, he were, if he was out there, like you're saying, if he was out there saying, my position is this, what do you think about it, guys? Is it a good idea? People would be like, uh, no, I don't think it's a good idea. And then uh, all he'd get is, like, the only coverage would be, like, Trump comes up with another harebrained scheme or whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kind of like happened with Ron Paul, right? Ron Paul did the whole like putting putting loads of ideas out there, and everyone was like, "Yeah, what about this?" And well, that's just a, like it made made him look like a fool. But Trump like- is just get like he says something. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad, as long as he gets you hot under the collar. Yeah, you can't analyze him. It's true, and it's very point, smart. To your point, the general public never responds well to to good analytical thinking. So <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Who are we trying to kid that we actually even want this? It's great. As long as it it's great. It's something in me. As long as it elicits something in me, and I'm happy about it, or mad, or really mad about it, but I'll still pay attention to your ass. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why he out, he out, uh, PR'd, I guess. He out uh, publicity to everybody oh, yeah. on the campaign trip, and he'll do the same to Hillary. He'll do the same to everyone. And you know what? He's gonna like. So, he's so gonna get so much all, more coverage. First of all, we veered off topic, but this is also a good discussion. <laughs> Yeah, big time. <laughs> so yeah. I can't. But he, my position is, <laughs> by the way, I can't. I can't disagree with what you're saying too. I I, I think that anti-Trump supporters are equally as violent, are as equally violent as Trump supporters. Far more. You're disagreeing with me by saying they're equal because I'm saying they're more they're violent. <laughs> they're more violent. On a, I need to watch some videos, a, maybe, but <laughs> on a punch per capita. Punches per capita. I think they are outscoring, outscoring Trump supporters. Punch. It may be age. It may be like related to age because um. Fair enough. I think the anti-Trump people are younger and more likely to get hot under the collar, I guess. Whereas the older people are just like they're willing to say say things that get them in trouble, but but they're not really willing to get violent because they'll lose their walking stick or something like that. So it might be something to do with that. Sure, maybe. Know. Although I would argue that most of the young anti-Trump supporters are vastly more liberal and soft, softer than any Republicans and probably don't even endorse violence. That's probably true. So anyway. But in numbers, in numbers, the anti-Trump people are like a beehive. <laughs> So are we only talking about physical violence or are we talking about other other types of violence? Oh, I don't know. No, please, please go on. Just physical or, or is it... Or is it... I, I was just referring to physical, but go on. I'm, I'm interested to hear where, where you can take it. No, no, no. I think it's great. I think it's a great thought, but I do think that there's probably a lot more, a, a lot of, a lot more hatred and violence that isn't, doesn't manifest itself in physicality. So you look at all the. Liberals. But what, what do you mean by what do you mean by that? What's look at all the mid- explicit. You can say what you want here. I know. This I is know. Like a, it's, it's an open <laughs> forum. <laughs> <laughs> so go. What, what do you mean by uh, non non violent violence? Go on. 
<laughs> well, I mean violence. Violence that doesn't I mean become violence. violence. By violence, I mean something that hurt. Definition of violence, right? Is it purely physical? I don't. I, I disagree. Okay. So, like, saying a mean thing. So my point is, yeah, yeah. So verb, verbal abuse, etc. I think there's a lot of that also that comes from from that whole from, that Trump uh, from the yeah. Trump side. Yes, that Trump case. that's probably true. That's probably true. But I don't think that. I, I don't think that is violence. I don't know if it is or not by definition, but but if it if it is violence, then I don't consider violence to be all bad. That's true. But like bad kind of violence, I would say is like is punching people and stuff. It's like yeah, to only be a dick and physical violence. You're right to throw a punch ends at my face, right? I think like, by definition, violence is only physical. I think I might have m- maybe yeah. Maybe. But but the point taken is that you know there's a lot of Maybe you could say ill will. Sure, sure. Maybe you could say there's a lot of ill will generated from those pro-Trump people. Sure. Yeah. But uh, and and then they maybe they are partly responsible for the violence by planting seeds of negative thoughts, negative vibes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag. You could say hashtag. Hashtag, hashtag whenever vibes. I, whenever I talk to you, I'm wearing the same shirt. It's funny. Oh, dude. Hashtag. <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's your only shirt. Either that, or you're doing the Zuckerberg, and you've got like a closet full of hashtag African shit. It could be that. But anyways, it could no, be I, that. I, to your point, I also think that those. I think that those people breed a lot of violence within you know Trump's circle or Trump's circle of supporters, if you will. So there's that. that those people. Those people meaning those Trump supporters. Really? Trump supporters who. Who sort of you know write negative things or elicit violence in others? You know they 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 have another arm of Trump, if you will. So the question then becomes: Do you believe that? I mean, like, would you accept? Okay, if I said to you, yeah. if I called you whatever, I'm not going to call you anything. I don't, <laughs> I don't I don't want to get. I think these Trumpers. Yeah. Okay, if I called you a toothy gay or whatever, like no, if I called you. You got nice teeth. You got nice teeth. I like them a lot. They're very bright and sparkly. <laughs> um, no, if I if I said you had bad teeth, right? Would you? And then you punch me for it. Would you? <laughs> I, I mean, I guess you could. You could argue. Or, okay, not if not if I not if I called you. Not if I said you had bad teeth. If I, if I said like oh, San Francisco-based tech entrepreneurs have bad teeth. Actually, I'm English, right. so I shouldn't throw that stone. But, but, um, but if I said that, and then you uh, punched me, would you consider what I said to be an excuse? No. Or would you would you would you hold yourself to the standard where you are able to control the punches you throw and like, and you're like you're an autonomous human being? I mean, you expect not you. I know we're not talking about you. It, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, if you punch me in the face, you'd probably like break right. it. You're saying if you... <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying like you're an autonomous human being, and so are they. And in the end, you're responsible for what you do, and not, uh, you know, you can't use someone saying a mean thing to you to justify you doing something really stupid and illegal. That's true. It also depends on the level of maturity, mm. like mental maturity. You never know. So you're saying anti-Trump people have a low level of mental maturity. <laughs> no, I have. I think that's. I think that's I'm what you said. I'm actually saying the opposite. What I'm saying is, pro-Trump people most likely <laughs> have a low level of of mental maturity. Therefore, they're influenced faster, and they pull the trigger on on people just you know just because somebody said something about their group or themselves or whatever. Or about Trump they pull the trigger on people. You mean like just, you know they they get violent. They, they punch people. But I thought we agreed that the anti-Trump people throw more punches per capita. <laughs> hey, you, <laughs> I didn't agree with that. No, I, still, I thought you did. Sorry, I, I must. Still still the, I still need to look at the numbers. I okay. I, say I mean, I think you know what we could talk about numbers all day. I've got great people with numbers. I I listen to the best numbers. <laughs> I listen to the best numbers, but. If you look at Facebook videos, I think you'll agree with me that the data's clear. <laughs> you know what? You might have. So here's the thing. 
I need to go back, revisit, right? Watch some, watch some videos. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll, and then I'll, and then I'll probably, you know, come back and I might change my position. Make sure that the the videos you watch are only those shared on your Facebook feed by your Facebook friends as well, because that's the only way to get an unbiased sample. That's what I do, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think it's a scientifically um, valid way of, of measuring the behavior. I agree. All right. I agree. So Trump. so Trump I think um, I, I've given you more. I feel like I want to start. Wait, you've done a good job today. Hold up. Boom, boom, boom. Three more hearts. I need to win this one. Bam. All Bam. Right. Bam. I'm gonna... Oh, nice. I like, I like that. I feel good about that. I like it. All right, well. So, All right. Uh, good talk. Thanks for admitting that, Mike. Yep. I'm not, I'm not, by the way, I'm not like, uh, I'm not anti Trump or pro Trump. I'm just an impartial observer. Oh, He's yeah. impartially sure. observing like his it. Facebook feed. I what I love. Hang on, who just gave you more hearts? I love the controversy coming from who, uh, from your from your who end. Here. Who gave you more? <laughs> I got to end before someone gives you more hearts. I didn't give you those hearts. Oh, maybe I did. Maybe it was a delayed reaction. All right. Okay. Uh, so, my uh, teeth. Yeah. Thank. Thanks. Yeah. Nice teeth. I love your teeth. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you any more about. <laughs> I'll <Yeah>. talk offline. <laughs> All right. Hey, good debate.